Algebra 2 Crem, New York State Algebra 2 Regions, Common Core, Radicals, Question 7, Solve a Radical Equation Algebraically. Inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to get your complete study package. Review Question 7. The solution set of the equation radical x plus 6 is equivalent to x is the set such that x is equivalent to negative 2 and x is equivalent to 3. The such, the set, not the such, the set such that x is 3, the set such that x is negative 2, or an empty set, no solution for x. Definitely press pause if you need to, and I'll give you a moment to think. All right, so solving an equation, okay, that's what we're doing here, means to just find out the value of x for which this function is going to be valid. And specifically to solve this radical equation algebraically, we're going to want to undo the radical. And the invisible numerical index of a radical that's never written is 2, okay? So to undo an index of 2, we would have to raise this radical to an exponent of 2 or square it, thus unlocking the radicand expression underneath the radical sign. And if we square the left-hand side of the equation, we also have to square the right-hand side of the equation, okay? So let's just go ahead and do that. And so when we square both sides of the equation, we unlock the radicand on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, we're left with x squared. Okay, and this is a nice setup because our radical term is already isolated for us, thus making uh, solving very easy. Now, notice you're going to yield a quadratic equation, so we're going to put this quadratic equation in standard form where the highest power of x is listed first. So what we're going to basically do is subtract the entire left-hand side bring it over to the right and then flip it just for, you know, visual organization. And we end up with x squared minus x minus 6 is equivalent to 0. Okay, so now um, we're going to do the reverse FOIL method and factor this uh, quadratic equation. So we need two numbers that when we multiply them, they yield our c value. And so I'm guessing 2 and three, but which one is negative and which one is positive is determined by the coefficient on the uh, B value. So the invisible coefficient here is going to be one, but more specifically negative one. So the three would have to be negative and the two would have to be positive of the factors of negative six, okay? So again, we find out two numbers that we multiply to get our constant and two numbers that we add to get the coefficient of the b term. So we said x plus 6 and x minus 3, and that's going to be equivalent to 0. And the zero product property says that one of two factors, or both, have to be equivalent to 0 in order to yield 0. So we're just going to assume that both equal 0, and by setting both factors uh, to 0 separately, we wind up with x plus 2 equals 0, and x minus 3 equals 0, or um, x is equivalent to negative 2, or x is equal to 3, okay? Because if we bring 3 over to the, uh, if we were to separate these two equations and bring negative 3 over to the right-hand side, we would have to add 3 on both sides, thus getting positive 3, and the same thing. If we were to separate the equations and set x plus 2 equal to 0 and bring um, 2 over to the right-hand side, we would have to subtract 2 on both sides, and x would be equivalent to negative 2. Thus, the correct answer choice is going to be answer choice 1, the set such that x is equivalent to negative 2, and x is equivalent to 3. So this bracket here is read the set of x such that x. Usually you have an x and a vertical um, bar written, but that's not necessary here. Okay, thanks for tuning in and good luck studying.